Okay, on the next topic, we're going to talk about levels. So please open up this file on levels.rvt. Okay. Now, levels and grids are essentially datum elements which establish some form of locations like height above zero and uh, and grids establishing important structural locations as well like where the column placement needs to be or structural walls need to be so let's study how to use okay let's explore how to use levels for now let's open up this file levels And you find that within this file itself, there are a couple of lines horizontally drawn. These are what we define as level lines. Okay. And it is represented first of all with a first with a line, and then with a symbol, and with the description of the floor itself, and most importantly, by a set of numbers here. Numbers here which are essentially bigger than zero at this point. Okay. There are also areas of which, um, for example, there are basements. When there are basements being built, it will be in negative numbers here. Okay. So let's try to say move these around. Now notice when I select the line itself and we start moving them around, notice the numbers here also begin to change okay and next we can also click on one of the leads here by dragging the ends we will be able to change the length of the level lines okay and by default there you will see a little lock here this little lock symbol means it is trying to keep everything here in line Okay, by unlocking it, we will then be able to drag and move this one. And you notice that by default, once you move it close to being in line here, it will automatically align and then you will automatically snap to a lock. Okay. So let's say you can also um, you can also key in the levels in a more precise manner by typing in the numbers exactly here, this way. At that, there are also some dimensions here that would help us establish. There are also some dimensions here that would also help us establish the amount of length it is easy to identify when it is comparing against level 0 okay or level 1 0 sometimes things may get difficult okay for example here I'm going to go to architecture and click on level to add another new level here in which I'll call it upper roof so I'm just going to add in one more line this way now notice when I have clicked from here to here the level indicator symbol now appears on the left side so what I can do is I can also select this now this new level that I've created by unchecking this box on the left and clicking this on the right here I will now be able to change the symbol the level symbol to the right side now notice here the dimension now compares okay not against the level not compared against level one but now it compares against the nearest level here which is at 3.6 so the height now that we have from the roof level to level three here is only 1.9 meters okay so in order to make this place, let's say, more usable, this space or area more usable, we, let's say, give it another 3.6 meters now. So you will now find that the overall level is no longer 3.6, but now it's 7.2. This is quite a very, quite a useful feature in which that will allow us to quickly key in 
the levels without having the need to calculate from zero all the way up to here after this part is done I can double click on this to rename it to let's say upper groove for example okay and notice when I do this when I rename this okay the uh, floor plans will also be created here and it will also be renamed as an upper roof at this portion here next sometimes it gets really really difficult to see this when the scale the view scale is quite large so at some point in time we will need to create a break in things so by default you will see that the tags are actually overlapping each other so in order to create a better or a neater viewpoint we need to select this line this level line and then click on the little break here that will create a break in which that will allow us to adjust the alignment until we reach something more suitable and we achieve something we achieve a neater point of view this way okay notice here even though I have adjusted this there is still a line overlapping like that so what we can do also is we can begin to now shift this out a little bit more okay or we can begin to shift this line inwards so that this area here there is no more overlapping of information okay on the next portion here you will find that each time when we create a new levels indicator okay a new corresponding plan will be will be created as well and very very similarly a new say ceiling plan will also be created now many a times for example we only need to create the levels but we really do not need a corresponding plan to be created at the same time so what can happen is we can begin to select this let's say the ceiling plan that we do not need we can begin to right click and click on delete to remove that plan and similarly for example right um, on the floor plans maybe we do not need an upper roof floor plan to be shown uh, in the plans so what can happen is we can right click and click on delete now you will notice once we have removed all the plans the corresponding plans from the levels indicator the icon here is a little bit different from the rest now the referring the referring icon here uh, as we have earlier mentioned to you it will be when there is a blue color symbol that you can see there is a good likelihood that this is actually um, we are able to double click on it and open up the corresponding plans okay so in this case if it is in black now that means there is no corresponding plan that can be found within the project browser itself so it cannot be found here so what can happen is even when we double click on this we cannot go into the corresponding plan but this does not mean the plans have actually been removed they have not so how to recall or how to call the plans back up again if we ever need them it will be under view under plan views in this case huh? so what can happen is we are going to click on view and plan views drop down list if we need the floor plans we will click on floor plan at this point you will find that the plans we have earlier removed one of them the upper roof floor plan is actually here so what can happen is we will select this and click OK you will then find that this plan has been opened up and it has been reinstated back to the floor plans here so I'm just going to close this now and show you with a corresponding plan the levels 
symbol has now is now becoming blue again so we can now see this part as blue so when we double click on the symbol we will be able to open the corresponding plan back again so in this case um, we can also recall the ceiling plan back out again so in this case we're going to click on plan view and click on reflected ceiling plan and then now we can click on upper roof for example and click ok so you will notice now the corresponding plan upper roof has opened again it's appearing here so we can reopen and edit them if necessary try to practice on this part here try to remove them and then reinstate them back again